Hi there, and welcome to my Itty Bitty Chapel. My name is Patty Chafee, and I'm the Community Minister at Niantic Community Church. I'm also a Spiritual Director and an Expressive Arts Facilitator. The Itty Bitty Chapel is a few moments offered midweek to relax, refresh, and reflect on a spiritual word or phrase. It's usually filmed in or near a sacred space within my home called the Itty Bitty Chapel. And our candle here is lit to remind us of the presence of spirit within and around us always. If you're so inclined, you can feel free to pause the video and light a candle in your sacred space during our few minutes together. Our word for reflection today is refuge. Psalm 46 tells us God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Lighthouses date back more than 2,000 years with the Lighthouse of Alexandria in Egypt. They have been the refuge and guidance for sailors in our own shoreline towns right here in Connecticut. I recently had the opportunity to spend time at Chatham Light in Massachusetts, a tower that stands 48 feet tall, 80 feet above sea level, and flashes twice every 10 seconds round the clock and can be seen for 24 nautical miles. The lighthouse stands today as part of an active duty Coast Guard small boat station with a primary mission of search and rescue, responsible for the safety of the local fishing fleet and recreational boaters, according to historicchatham.org. Yeah, lighthouses as a refuge and guide go way back and are still operational and essential even today. Now, if you aren't too familiar with scripture, at the very least, I'll bet you've heard Psalm 46. God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in trouble. We all know that one. This is a God of rescue, a God of compassion, a God of great love. But unlike those sailors, we need not look outside of ourselves for refuge. We might consider looking within. In Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown, she writes, True belonging is the spiritual practice of believing in and belonging to yourself so deeply that you can share your most authentic self with the world and find sacredness in both being a part of something and standing alone in the wilderness. True belonging doesn't require you to change who you are. It requires you to be who you are. True belonging doesn't require you to change who you are. It requires you to be who you are. What a powerful statement. What an invitation to just be who you are. How often in the course of our days, even our lives, do we shift or even tweak a decision or behavior, conscious of what others might think, judge, or expect from us? To some degree, I think it's probably human nature. <laughs> but we have this divine spark in us, don't we? Where God's spirit dwells, and that may be our truest refuge. When we seek that God self for answers and direction, perhaps a port in the storm, we know what we need to do. While doing it is another matter. But what a challenging task to say yes to the call, when saying yes might mean leaving the comfort and security of our refuge and strength as we've known it. In some cases, the way we've known it for a lifetime. 
if COVID-19 has taught us anything, it's to think about what's important in life and not to take any of it for granted. It's taught us to make time, to slow down, to take a risk, to explore our wanderlust, if that's what suits us. But most importantly, it's to make a life filled with meaning. And when it's time to make those changes, let us be certain that our refuge and strength will be right where it always has been. I leave you with a few minutes now at the Chatham Light to reflect on where you find your refuge and strength and how your God Spirit guides you in the challenge to be just a little more yourself and in doing so, live a more meaningful life. Experiencing the sacredness of being alone in the wilderness or a part of something more. I keep you in prayer every day of this wonderful life. And if this message spoke to you in some way, feel free to share it with others. And until next time, may God bless you in every way you need. Namaste.